Good evening. We are, yes, I'm Lane Aiken, Sheriff Wise County, I'm sorry. Good evening, it's, it's a, we're glad to see y'all here tonight. It's been a really, really tough few days, um, and I'm, I'm very proud of the people who are here who helped us so much to get some resolution, to get some understanding, to provide answers for the families um, and these people. We couldn't have done it without that. Could, could not have done it without them. The Texas Rangers, this is the uh, acting SAC, Jim Dwyer with FBI. And then I've got my chief deputy and captain, enforcement captain here. It was a monumental task. And because of the cooperation, because of us working together, we were able to get the answers. Some of the answers were not the answers that we would have hoped that we'd, we would have gotten. And, and we want to send our condolences out to the family of Athena, Athena Strand. Um, her body was recovered about two hours ago, maybe three, six miles that direction. It hurts our hearts to know that that child died. So much so that, that she is on her way now to the medical examiner's office. And there's a Texas Ranger in front of her. And there's a Texas Ranger behind her. This community does not like losing our children. And, and we could see it because of all the people who came out and helped us throughout this ordeal. It was most meaningful what the citizens did because we have a close-knit group of folks here in Wise County. And it's our pleasure to serve these folks in Wise County, the Rangers, the FBI, and the Sheriff's Office. We're glad that we've had this opportunity, but we're just sad that it didn't end the way that we would hope that it would, e would end. Earlier today, a tip was received. We knew early on in the investigation that there had been a FedEx driver made a delivery in front of the house about the same time that little Athena, seven-year-old Athena, came up missing and continued good work by these, this investigative team. They were able to determine that the driver abducted Athena. And from the investigative standpoint, digitally as well as, as good old interviews, we think Athena died within just a very hour or so, the very hour or so after her departure from her home. This driver is a contract driver, and his name is Tanner Lynn Horner. He's 31, and he's from Lake Worth. He's in the Wise County Jail right now because of the good work of these people and all the folks out there who have helped our EMC, our prosecutors here tonight, the deputies, the highway patrol, the citizens. <clears throat> he's in our jail, and he's in our jail being charged with capital murder, aggravated kidnapping, and his bond is $1.5 million at this time. We thank again the community. And um, I guess at this point, we'll, we'll take, take questions. Was her body down on the of 2599 where you were at earlier? You want to answer that question? I'll, I'll, no. Um, it was on it was on another county road about six men we, we don't really want to release that address right now but it was six miles further from here so it's probably three miles past that it's southeast of uh, of Boyd was the driver actually delivering a package to that home yes sir he was so she was abducted from her home from the front of her home the the driveway is about about 200 yards or so so probably pretty close to her gate. What leads you to believe that she passed away within an hour of leaving home? There's digital evidence as well as interviews that causes us to believe that. How was the driver located? 
you want to answer that question? Would you like to answer that question? Um, the, uh, the there were a number of investigative steps that have taken a course along the way. The uh, the sheriff mentioned the um, the digital evidence that was there, and we were able to work through that digital evidence and through uh, partnerships with uh, with FedEx in order to help assist with that uh, with that with locating him and finding him this afternoon. Can you tell us more about any priors, a prior criminal history? I don't know the answer to that question at this point. When you talk about that digital evidence, do you mean ring camera videos, surveillance camera videos? I think the investigation is still unfolding at this point, and I think we'll we'll leave the specifics in terms of what that what that is uh, there. But you know, right now we're um, you know, from, on behalf of the FBI, I'd also like to offer my condolences to the Strand family and to the Wise County community as well. Um, the partnerships with the Texas Rangers and with the gentleman behind us, the sheriff from Wise County, um, were truly remarkable and truly helped to bring some closure to that family today. And we know that they're hurting, but we do offer our deepest console, condolences to them. Is just one person that you believe is responsible? Is that, is, that is currently uh, the understanding, yes. And what led you to that location where her body was recovered? Sure, if you... Uh, I, I can't address that. They, it was because of, of the work of the Rangers and our investigators who were doing the interview that got us to that location based on the information they received from the suspect, now defendant. The suspect confessed? We do have a confession. Was, is there anything that you can give us on why the suspect said he did this or what motivated him? Or? We, we really can't get into the content of, of the... Um, confession but I will say that we we have a confession and there's so many other things because this has really just come to this position this time and just closure just hours ago so it's, it's still very very early but but we wanted to make sure that we got the information out what has happened today because of the good work right here no that's that's a good question I, and I appreciate that no he was not related and did not know the family That, that was just misinformation. As the interview went on, better information came in, and that's how we ended up doing what we did to actually recover the body. How many locations did he guide you to before you did? There were three that, that I recall. Is that correct, Job? Three? Two, sir, yes. Two. Two, two other locations. Was the other location the Lake Worth, Fort, Lo Fort Worth location near Somerville Place Road? Yes, indeed. That, that is the... Uh, the defendant's home address. Was there anything recovered there? Uh, that, that again, that FBI as well as the Rangers ran that search warrant. We don't have that detail right now. That, that's part of an ongoing investigation. Um, I know you've been in contact with the family. Is there anything that they want to say to the public tonight, the people that have searched? I have. I spent quite a bit of time with, with the family. And, and they want you to know that they appreciate that the vast majority of the families from Oklahoma and, and they, they appreciated the fact that we care so much. Uh, they're, they're devastated. Um, they're angry because of, of what happened. Um, precious child taken from their lives. Um, so other than, than their appreciation and, and they would like to to know that that the community gives them we give them their our condolences but we also want to make sure that we give them the privacy that that they need and I, and I hope that everybody will respect that and give them a little bit of space uh, not only with the family from Oklahoma but the family right here in Cottondale let's let's give them a little time and and we would ask and from my closing remarks we would ask that that we spend some time and, and, and pray for these folks um, so that, that they might be relieved of some of the pain. It's going to be a difficult few days, some sleepless nights, um, and they need our support. Sheriff, is there any way we can get a mug shot yet? Have you got a mug shot on this? We'll be able to get one soon, and I think we could probably get that through the Wise County Sheriff's Office. Sheriff, one last thing. You are a retired ranger, been in law enforcement 50 years. Describe this case in relation to your entire career. You know, it's, it's one of the toughest investigations that I've been involved in um, because it's a child. 
and any time there's a child that dies, it just hits you in your heart. You compare that child to your own children when they were that age, and it just takes the wind out of your sails, but at, at the same time, it gives you purpose because you want to make sure that you do the best you can so that you get the best resource, resources together to do what has been done here and getting this done in really just about a three-day period. It's amazing that the work was done by this team, and I'm in awe. So it breaks my heart, but at the same time, it really gives me a lot of spirit knowing that, that we can accomplish what we accomplished uh, here these last three days. Thank you. Oh, wait, sir, can you get a spelling on the suspect, by the way? That's the only thing I need. Uh, yes, it is uh, Tanner, T A N N E R, Lynn, L Y N N, Horner, H O R N E R. Thank you, sir. 30, 30, 30, 31 from Lakeworth. 30, 31 from Lakeworth. Okay. What was the FBI agent's name? Uh, that, that is Jim Dwyer. He's, he's the acting agent in charge. That's his title? Yes. You might spell your last name if you know. D W Y E R. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.